looking for the KO with Cesar Vidal and Gustavo Vidal. Very good morning, very good afternoon, very good evening, and above all, very welcome to CesarVidal.tv and Buscando El KO. You know, that absolutely epic, extraordinary, unique program that you will not find in the Spanish media and of course in very few places where people like Gustavo Vidal show you the world of boxing. Because what am I gonna tell you about Gustavo Vidal? Masterful psychopomp of boxing history, possessing an encyclopedic knowledge and above all, endowed with a very personal style. Good evening, Gustavo. Where are we going to go today in Buscando El KO? Very good evening. Well, today we are going to the Immortal, to Zaragoza. That's where they're going to make us. Zaragoza, you know. That's where it starts. You know that they say it is the only word that is accented in all its syllables. Zaragoza. And then, Zaragoza. Zaragoza. In Aragon, that, that, that's what they say that, in Aragon. Yes, 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 yes. And Pozo too, because of Zaragoza or Pozo. Yes. The famous joke that we are not going to tell now because the world will have to tell it. Or that of genius was... was... Sure. Is what, what is it? For. I mean, we've been looking for this. Yes, well, no. we're about to explain. Yes, it has a explain reputation. Well, the one we are going to talk no, about today does stereotypes. not fit those stereotypes. It does respond to, does respond to no, the stereotype I mean, of nobility of... No, uh, I don't think... That he is in those stereotypes. In those stereotypes. We, we are, are talking, talking about, about Jose Antonio Lopez Bueno. Lopez bueno. Jose Antonio, Jose Antonio Lopez Bueno, bueno was, a Spanish was a Spanish world champion. champion. He is the world is the boxing world champion that Zaragoza champion has given Zaragoza after Perico Fernandez. And, and he was the ninth world boxing champion. We will explain it later. Baltasar Sanchili, Jose Legra, Pedro Carrasco, Perico Fernandez, Miguel Velasquez, Jose Dural, Hugo Lastra, Javier Castillejo. And then came this Chavagote, born on August 74. Javier Castillejo, and then came this Chamadote. In Zaragoza, on August he was a formidable boy, small, he was a formidable in a small division, man, flyweight, small in a small division, and he fought against all odds, and, and he continues to fight against, against all odds, and win and fight. To fight. He would debut as a professional on July 2, 1994, he debuting debut Juan Carlos Diaz Quesada. In his first five fights, well, he had some strange streak, didn't he? A bad streak, but then he changed houses, let's see, I guess, Diaz because of personal Quesada. things and such. Lucky in story, and he made fights, 11 he victorious fights, streak, getting the world championship of the Hispanic world. But then he changed houses Hispanic world championship. See, I guess, the Spanish championship personal in the flyweight so world title. And he made 11 14. victorious fights. That is to say, it was Spanish a formidable thing. On November 14th of 97, at the concession line, he defeated Casada, carried in high dosos. He was proclaimed champion of the Hispanic world. Thing. On the 10th On the of January of the following year, he was proclaimed champion of Spain against Ramon Bartolome. He carried he in the first high in a fight in Zaragoza. He, he defended his national title, Hispanic became WBO Latin champion, champion and Euro African Quesada champion. And Euro African on January champion. 10th of the following and on year, April 23rd of 99, in a fight that we will see, he Ramon faced the Mexican Bartolome, Ruben Sanchez the for the world flyweight title. And he won, moreover, in a fulminant way. He thus became the ninth became Spaniard WBO and the second Latin Zaragoza champion, to win the world title. Euro African champion. And on April 23rd of well, no. 99, in a fight that we will see, He faced the Mexican Ruben Sanchez for the world flyweight title. And he won in a fulminating way, thus becoming the ninth Spaniard and the second Zaragozan to win the world title. Subtitles made by the community of Amara.org. Quoted that you cover remember, the material in the book, which is quoting, that is, if you classify it, I think that citing yes, is to the poor, isn't it? Right? Right? I, I have not. Don't quote him, that's the bad thing. Jose Luis San of Leather and Ribbon is a good book. It's a good book. Quoted it gives you, of course, it's a very entertaining occasion, moreover. Very entertaining. Gabriel Campillo's program, we made it about him. Talks about everything. I think it's a very interesting review of the history of Spanish boxing, isn't it? We are Here now we going go. to focus on this boxer in a few minutes so that we can see how fast he is. He is a very orthodox boxer, very close boxer, elbow stuck, high guard, very fast. Obrete and ball to the middle of the By river him. come the Zaragozano. 
Subtitles realized by the community of Amara Org. Come on, here we go. realized by the community of Amara Org. Subtitles 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 realized by the community of Amara.org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara Org. 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 For Santander, for Santander, together. Of Amara .org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara. Subtitles and there it is, the division. How has been of opinion the public day? Org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara.org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara.org. Thank you very much. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara.org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara.org. Subtitles realized by the community of Amara. Man, it's worth org. seeing. There is no Subtitles doubt. There's no doubt about by it. The community of Amara. You're org. watching and you say, "Well, Subtitles he's a champion. Someone who is going to make it, man." Subtitles realized by the community of Amara. Org. It, Subtitles realized by the community yes, of, of Amara. Org. Org. And indeed, he was. Subtitles realized and before we by the see his fights, because we are going to see when he was intercontinental flyweight world champion. This we are going to see Subtitles before Luis Castellano. Castellano. And or we are also community. going to see, of course, Pilo Fano when he was world flyweight champion. Subtitles made by the Amara world. or community. Flyweight world Subtitles champion. Subtitles made by the Amara we will or have... community. Subtitles made by the Amara or community. Subtitles made by the Amara dog community. Subtitles made by the uh, Amara dog All this, community. but let's move on to Subtitles things that happened. We're Amara going to dog. preview before we look at community. the block of things that Subtitles happened on days like today. Like, community. for example, in Frankfurt, Subtitles made by the Amara on the day in September of 66, community. when Karl Lindenberger, an excellent left-handed German pupil, community. faces a blazing Subtitles Muhammad Ali, who is a world champion in community. his first stage. And who, well, he's simply untouchable. Community. As we'll see, made by the, the German Amara pupil, who was very, community. very good, doesn't get Subtitles a glove on him, except Amara when Ali dog. wants to. Community. And really, Ali throws him pretty much whenever he wants to, because you had to allow time for publicity between jumps. Remember, just seven years later, this same Ali had a rematch with Ken North. But hey, he would go on to win a tight split decision. An ephemeris of these dates, which also touches us very closely, would happen in Leganes, when the Linze of Parla, around this time, Javier Castillejo wins to Paulo Roberto, and we will put all... Paulo Roberto, and we will put all the data overprinted, and retains the World Championship super lap of the concept. And, of course, an ephemeris that we cannot pass by before, that would happen in Las Vegas, the September of 81. One of those fights that move you to nostalgia, yes, yes, or also yes, when two legends, two stars, two myths, Ray Sugar Leonard and Thomas Hanks, two of the best punchers, two of the great, the magnificent of the 80s, and the best that has been in the ring. Only one of them could win because they were going to unify titles. In the end, Leonard won, who was losing the cards. Let's take a look at these three ephemeris, because they are formidable, before moving on to Jose Antonio Lopez Bueno. Let's go there. <laughs>